Welcome back to the channel and first of all an update and an apology because I've not been posting as frequently and the reasoning is because of the update this is a 50 oscillator version of the power chip and I can't get it working yet the original still does work and I don't know if it's component values or what but it also looks like a well a 1970s wire wrap on the back of it I don't think that helps and I think I probably should have got it professionally made straight away but anyway that's what's happening and that's the 50 that is under testing at the moment but today's video is going to be about angles and changes you see because everybody normally associates wireless electricity with straight lines and in this case I'm going to be using the system by Hamspiced it's 13.56 megahertz but it does apply to all of them usually you see you'll find people putting things on top of uh, perhaps pancake coils or towers and there's a little bit of range you know and they, they show the lights going what you don't normally get is anything except straight lines you may have a coil over here and a coil over here and someone will show an LED lighting up from the transmitting one but you don't go round corners and things like that so I set about trying to sort that out so first of all I created a 45 degree angle there and then created the rest of the 90 degrees by putting a couple of others on this bottle cap and there we go the light comes on so we've got the 90 degrees now where things get interesting is the interaction of that as well so while that green light is on if I move this away you see that the right hand one actually comes on instead we can move it between and see how they interact with each other and I thought that was really good you can see at a certain point too that front one dips down so in fact you see it just sort of bounces in doesn't it so that is the correct distance for that to create the 90 degree change now such a thing can be important if you got something like this transmitting device and put it on the side of a desk you could then bend the energy around to be in a more conventional place but take up nothing of the real estate area of that desk so you can see on this example if I have that at the side and then you can see that it begins lighting that at the 45 degrees I can then bring this one in excuse the fingers and everything and you start getting that angle back to be upright again it really is quite a fascinating difference in the way that things are normally done with wireless electricity and you can see me bringing it in and out there of a proper resonance but yeah we're working at 90 degrees in a different way now this was quite fortunate I was looking at this setup and wondering about if we could make it even simpler and knock that off by accident but right next to it was one of these which is just a, a single little piece a repeater that I put on top of there well you see if I have nothing there and press we of course we get nothing but I put this repeater on <laughs> and what do you know and then something fortunate also I was tidying up on my table and I put one of these flexible ones just on top it was just the way that things were going at the time when I was tidying up on the table but I pressed it no oh, this time it doesn't work yeah <laughs> but when I straightened it up, look at that, the brightness has actually increased by having two of those repeaters. And I mean there's some distance there too, forwards and backwards. I was quite impressed. So of course with two of them on there, and this thing now out of the way that was, was going to 45 degrees, I thought well, what happens if I chuck a couple more on top, just, just rest them on, is it going to affect anything? And the answer was yes, it actually now stops it. I'll take one off and we'll see if we get anything. No, still not. Take off the other one. Now we've just got the two left again. And there it is, it's back again. It's just a little bit weird. Now what happens if I just use the flexible one without the solid type? Oh, we'll find out. Put the flexible one on now it's not working so I I can't weigh that one up but it's very interesting 
then if I put the non-flexible type on then we do get some throughput but if I drop the flexible one on top <laughs> there we are with that great power throughput anyway carrying on so finally what might happen if I introduce that one which is the 45 degree while those are running so let's get the thing going and now look at the range and then the angles which I'm now able to twist this around this is most effective this is keeping going in all sorts of different angles and to quite the range as well if you can see very impressed with that and of course we've got the two lights are on there unless they go really close then that one goes out at the back or that way and that one comes on but I was very impressed with the amount of angle that is just stunning to me right the way around so really perhaps just a different and quick video about thinking of transmission of energy in different ways to how it would normally be presented as straight lines. The circuitry around the... So, start again.